Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're joining me for the very first time, my name is Fajura. I'm happy to have you in my beautiful family. And for my returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch my video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this delicious pepper sauce. I call it my universal pepper sauce because it can be used for so many things. Like it's a must have for family. It can be used for potato. It can be used for chips, spring rolls, samosa whatever just name them so guys stay tuned let's quickly dive into it in preparation of those pepper sauce these are all the peppers i'm going to use i'm using bell pepper i'm using sweet pepper i'm using chili i'm also using scotch bonnets i'm using onions i have thyme seasoning cubes i also have my red oil and my vegetable oil so guys this is are all the things i'm going to use i'm just going to wash my pepper at the moment so i can cut them and blend them all together so this is my bell pepper in front of me which i'm just going to cut after cutting this i'm also going to cut the other peppers i'm actually not using any tomato puree or tomato paste for this pepper sauce because it's not really needed in this sauce so i'm only using the different type of pepper if you can add different if you have any other choice of pepper that you really like in your food you can actually add to it but these are the ones i'm using i'm using both the purple and white onion as well so i'm going to cut everything together just as you can see then i will blend them they are all nicely cut now so i'm going to start blending them i'm using my small blender because my big blender got broken so i i will be blending them bit by bit so this is the first one i made sure i blended it to be very smooth and the subsequent ones i'm going to have some bits in them which is this because i don't want them to be too smooth so we can enjoy it in the pepper sauce so i'm going to go for another round now yeah that's it so at this point i'm just going to mix them together you can see that they are not all smooth because i want to also enjoy it in the sauce so i have put a clean frying pan on the cooker i'm adding the red oil and i will allow it to bleach but bear in mind that when bleaching your oil ensure that the pot is covered so now that the oil is properly bleached now i'm just going to add the vegetable oil to it before i start frying so while the vegetable oil is added i'm going to pour all the blends in it remember there is no tomato in all of this it's just the different type of pepper and onion i blended together so while that is added i'm just going to stir it and allow it to fry for about five to ten minutes so while it's frying i will always just have to keep checking and stirring because i don't want it to burn i want everything to cook at the same time so i'm going to add my seasoning cubes i'm adding two seasoning cubes to it then also i'm going to add some salt to it i'm not using so many spices in this sauce because it is just naturally sweet so i'm just going to stay it at this point and allow it to keep frying cover the pot and allow it to keep frying then i'll come back in another five minutes to check to see yeah this is it it's frying and i will just stay again just like i said to prevent it from getting burnt i'll just stay again then i'll cover the pot go back and come back to check so it's something that you just have to make sure that you fry it until it is completely dry you can actually add crayfish to it if you're a fan of crayfish which is dry crayfish you can add it to it at this point but if you're not a fan of it you can just let it fry the way it is and it's also very delicious so i'm back again to stay it at this point you can add your fish to it if you want to use it for white rice or if you want to use it for any other thing you can add your dry fish so at this point i'm going to add my thyme to it so this is the last ingredient I'm adding to the sauce and our sauce will be ready in a few minutes. This 
is a must have pepper sauce if you haven't tried it don't forget to try it like you can use it for a lot of things you can use it for a lot of things even for small parties a lot of people enjoy it it's really nice with yam chips plantain chips potato chips whatever just name it so you can see that it is cooked now i'm just going to get it off the cooker in the next few minutes let's say i'll leave it for another four minutes so it's all ready now to be served you can see like i told you from the beginning of the video and like you saw i didn't add any tomato to this pepper sauce that's because i used different type of pepper i use about four peppers for it so you can see how inviting it tastes the taste trust me the taste is heavenly the aroma is everywhere in the house so i'm just going to dish it out into a, a bowl because i'm actually using it for a small family dinner so when you have some of your chops one can just put it by the side of it and enjoy it with the chops so i'm just dishing them out now and it's ready if you realize that i didn't really use so many ingredients in the sauce because for me i don't think it's needed but there are some i make and i add some fresh prawn king prawn inside and it's also very very delicious i'm going to show you the vid the picture of that at the end of the video so this is a must-have pepper sauce i call it my universal pepper sauce because it goes with everything like it goes with a lot of food that i prepare in the house so it is now properly dished into a clean beautiful dinner bowl so we're going to use this for our dinner today and it's going to go with a lot of shops for instance, you can use your plantain sheaves, prawn, skewers for it. There are so many, like there are so many foods that can go with this pepper sauce. And also you can also use your spring rolls. Just as you can see in front of me, I've got some vegetable spring rolls and prawn skewers and we're going to use for this pepper sauce. Also, samosa as well is a very good one to also serve with this pepper sauce, as you can see in front of me. And a mighty bowl of delicious shops. These are all things you can use with this pepper sauce, just as you can see in the picture. So guys, I believe you must have enjoyed this video. And if you have enjoyed this video till now and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. See you in my next video.